This has been a fun day playing uh, with everything up behind the dashboard. Uh, I took out the speedometer and uh, I couldn't really get the dashboard out that well until I actually unhooked the speedometer cable back there. So once that came out, I was able to pull the dashboard forward. Uh, there was a, a computer back there. <laughs> I think there's like 10 components on here. It's just like uh, capa two capacitors, I think two diodes, maybe a transistor, and um, I think like four resistors. I'll have to map out and see what it, what's actually going on there, but it looks like somebody... Uh, it almost looks like they hand soldered the traces on there, but um, yeah, now that it's not going to be on the speedometer anymore, there, there needs to be a more optimal way to uh, put that on here because it was attached to this, which kind of held against the speedometer, and the new speedometer is too big. So that's the deal today. That's the project is putting on this new speedometer. Um, I did get a new motor but the new motor does not have the ability to hook up a speedometer cable to it. So I was trying to figure out what to do about that. And a lot of people are going with these G GPS speedometers. The main issue I'm running into is that, um, well, there's a few, but one of the main ones I'm running into today is realizing pretty much every speedometer today is uh, standard three and three eighths inches where this guy is much smaller than that. Uh, nothing wrong with this guy. He's perfect, I'd, I'd stick with him if I could, but uh, I cannot do that incompatibility issue with the new motor. Um, so I'm gonna have to cut this hole out a little bit bigger. Uh, one of the nice things about this GPS thing is it does have a trip log that I can swap between. Right now I've driven 0.0, .0 miles. And there we go. I would like to see the decimal point on this guy. I was surprised I couldn't see that. Now I couldn't set that tenth of a mile portion of it. So not too happy about that. But anyway, uh, what else have we got? Oh, lights. So let's turn on our lights. So our dashboard lights are on. You can see that red glow. Isn't that cool? All right, so let's turn off the dashboard lights. And watch this. Let's go left. There we go. Our left signal is on. Our right signal is on. And our high beams are on as well. Um, so yeah, one of the things I've been finding is uh, I'm used to putting my signals on constantly. And the vehicle takes my signals off. With this car, the signals are not really... I think they're supposed to be self-canceling. They just don't do it all the time. So it's difficult for me to pay attention because these uh, it's harder to see that they're lit up and it's harder to hear that they're blinking with the, when the car is making so much noise bumping along the road. But having a second visual indicator right there on the thing I look at the most would be a good idea. And the high beams switch on so often that I don't realize that they're on. You know, like the more that I can have here in the center, the better. So yeah, that, that's fine. Um, I have this long wire going out at the uh, the back of the garage where the GPS device is at the moment. Um, my main concern about GPS is uh, if I don't have a signal or um, like if I'm driving inside or if I'm driving slow, how much, uh, where's the accuracy gonna go from that point on? But we'll see how it works out. Ah, uh, I gotta put this back together. Well, I gotta cut a hole. I don't wanna cut a hole in this thing. I have to, but I don't want to. All right, so that's the deal. That's what's going on. And I have it so it only gets power when the keys are on, but apparently it still has power. I think it's like, uh, there's like capacitors built in or something that's uh still powering these this thing for a bit until uh until it goes off yeah so that's a nice thing oh and these wires were labeled the wires were labeled with with nice uh clear english and they gave me a button so they call this the external button it's a nice soft push button thingy 
Uh, it's it does the same thing as the button on the back. They just give you a a wire to connect to it. So I'll probably have to um, drill a hole for that button as well. <sighs> Man, I don't want to do this. I don't want to cut the car. I don't want to cut the dashboard. That's my main issue. But it's it's got to be done. I hate this.